In chapter 16, question 16, they're asking you to uh, match a few descriptions to a few key terms. The terms active site, that's number one, lock and key model, two, and induced fit model, three. So let's discuss what each of those things are before we look at the descriptions. You can think of an enzyme as a sort of Pac-Man where uh, it, that makes reactions happen faster. And so the Pac-Man uh, has a certain shape for its mouth, uh, its sort of mouth right there, and that shape uh, fits a certain molecule. The molecule is called a substrate. So this huge blue Pac-Man blob would be the enzyme that's going to make a reaction happen faster, and it's going to do that by making sure that this substrate molecule is in the perfect position and has its bonds tugged so it reacts really quickly. So that substrate finds its way into that the mouth of that Pac-Man. And that mouth of the Pac-Man, which is really the only part of the enzyme that makes the reaction happen faster, that has an effect, this part right here, that's the part that the substrate bonds, bonds to, or it goes into, and that uh, makes the reaction happen faster. That part, where all the activity occurs, is called the active site. So that's the active site. The active site is the one pocket on the surface of the enzyme where the substrate goes in so that it's positioned correctly, its bonds are tugged, and the reaction happens faster. So that's the term, our first term, the term active site. So it's good for that. Now, when you think about the substrate going into the enzyme, you can imagine that this enzyme is a really rigid thing. Or you can imagine that it's a really fluid thing. To visualize those two scenarios, the first one, the rigid one, you can imagine the enzyme as a sort of lock. And so this, this sort of would be the enzyme. And then you can imagine the substrate, that little molecule going into it, sort of as a key. Ah, substrate. So they each have rigid shapes that are really uh, stuck and, and uh, that don't change, and they just fit into each other perfectly, and just like a lock and a key. So that model of enzymes is called the lock and key model. The hypothesis is that the enzyme and the substrate are, have both have rigid shapes that don't change. But these enzymes are surrounded by water, and the water, is co the water molecules are constantly bumping against it, pushing it, slapping into it, and all of that changes the enzyme's shape in a similar way as the crown of a tree changes when the wind blows through it. So the enzyme does have a certain shape, but it changes a little bit when the water runs through across it in a similar way as the crown of a tree has a certain shape. Uh, but it changes a little bit when the wind crosses it. And so that model, where the enzyme has a dynamic shape, and as the substrate gets close into the active site, that the enzyme's shape sort of wraps around it and changes itself, that is called the induced fit model. You can see on this left side how the enzyme, the blue blob, has a sort of different shape. It sort of closed its mouth around the, the substrate. So it changed its face, the shape a little, uh, in the same way, so it, it can adapt its shape in the same way that the shape of the crown of a tree can adapt. And that's called induced fit. So when the substrate comes in and it makes the enzyme itself change its shape a little bit um, in order to wrap around it, that's called the induced fit model. So you can think of this as the induced fit model. Okay, so armed with those three terms, the active site where the reaction occurs, the site on the enzyme, the pocket in the enzyme that helps to speed up the reaction, and the lock and key model where the enzyme is really rigid, and the induced fit model where the enzyme is something dynamic that can change and adjust its shape a little bit to help wrap around the substrate. We're armed with those terms, we'll approach these uh, descriptions. So A says, the portion of an enzyme where catalytic activity occurs. The word catalytic just means that you're making something happen faster. A catalyst is something that makes a reaction happen faster. Enzymes are biological catalysts. They're proteins that make 
reactions happen faster. So what, make, what part of the enzyme makes the reaction happen faster? The active site. And so this is the active site. B says an active site that adapts to the shape of a substrate. So that was like the tree down here that could adapt in the wind. That's the induced fit model. So the induced fit model says that the active site can adapt to the shape of the substrate. And you can see that happening here, how this blue blob sort of clenched its jaws around that substrate. C says an active site that has a rigid shape. That rigid shape is referring to the lock and key model. So you would say lock and key model. And that would be it for, chat, for question 16.